I'm going to share with you four living room color ideas with the paint color beige that everyone should know. Often the color beige, it, it gets a bad rap, but for all the wrong reasons. And I'm going to show you how to get it right. And it starts with the undertones that you have in your room. I help people like you all over North America, and you can check it out with my online shop in the description section down below. So without further ado, let's get this show started. For all of you out there who has a home that was built between 2005 and 2010, chances are your home falls in the Tuscan trend. Now what's the Tuscan trend? The Tuscan trend is basically you have dark furniture or you have dark wood like cherry wood or you have orange or gold or bronze or maybe even dark bricks within your home. So if you want to lighten it up, then you might want to try out Manchester Tan or Feathered Down by Benjamin Moore. So let's go take a closer look. This is Manchester Tan by Benjamin Moore. It's got a little bit of green beige undertone. I want to show you a couple quick colors that would go really well with Manchester Tan. Let's start off with this. Let's say you have a little bit of gold in your living room. And when you compare it together, you'll notice the green undertone does a really good job of working with this gold. Another thing that I want to show you, let's say that you have red cherry wood cabinets like this one. When you compare it with Manchester Tan, these are two colors, two complementary colors that work really well together. Or let's say that you have a little bit of red orange like this. Red orange is a little bit earthy, but when you compare it with Manchester Tan and the green beige undertone, they work beautifully. Let's just say that Manchester Tan is a little bit too dark for you. A good idea that I would recommend would be maybe Feathered Down by Benjamin Moore. When you compare these two colors together, you'll notice it's a lot lighter than Manchester Tan and it will do the job just as well. As you can see, Manchester Tan and Feathered Down by Benjamin Moore do a really good job from transitioning from the Tussin trend to the current color of today. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section down below. We Sheep by Benjamin Moore is a yellow beige, and when it's paired correctly with the undertones that you have in your home, it will look beautiful. Now, if you Google this online, chances are you're going to see some red cherry cabinets that are paired with We Sheep. Please don't do this. It will not look good. Instead, do this. This is Wheat Sheep by Benjamin Moore. It's a yellow beige. It's not screaming yellow. It's just got that nice soft touch. Now I want to give you a couple of quick examples of some colors that will work really well with Wheat Sheep. So let's say that you have birchwood hardwood flooring or maybe birchwood cabinets. When you compare this with Wheat Sheep, it goes beautifully together. Now another thing that you want to keep in mind, let's say that you have a lot of yellows in your living room. You want to keep your yellows clean. And you'll notice when you compare this with Wee Sheep, it goes fantastic. Also, you want contrast. When you're working with Wee Sheep, a really good color would be a till blue green, just like this. This is a classic example of how to make a yellow beige like Wee Sheep feel trendy, warm, yet balanced. And oh, by the way, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider it. I give you valuable information just like this. If you want a paint color that's going to give your home some sophistication, then you might want to try Grant Beige. Assuming that you have the right color undertone and the fixed elements to make this happen. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how to work with both cool and warm undertones with Grant Beige. Watch this. This is Grant Beige by Benjamin Moore. It's a green beige, and I want to show you a couple colors that will work really well. So let's say that you have hardwood floors, and it's a brown color like this one. Now, when you compare it with Grant Beige, you'll notice how they pair beautifully. Now, there's two other colors that I want to show you. So let's say that you have a blue-green fabrics. Maybe it's your curtain, just like this one. When you compare it with Grant Beige, notice how they complement each other really well. Another color that I want to show you is this one. It's a red violet. Let's say this is in your rugs, or maybe you have an accent or a picture in your living room that looks like this. And when you compare it together, it really works. 
As you can see, Grim Beige is versatile. It can work with both cool and warm undertone as long as you have the right fixed elements and the furnished items to make it happen. Remember, it's not the paint color that goes first. It starts with the interior decor that you have in your living room. You want to build your color palette, and then you want to hone in on what undertones that you have in your living room. So if you need help on finding the perfect colors for your living room, and you want it professionally done, then you might want to check out the description link down below. I show you how I can do it without ever stepping foot in your home. So thank you for watching. Until then, I'll see you next week.